Hello everybody, good afternoon. Um, I am going to be doing the tarot card reading um, that I wrote down for Kiara Coles. Um, today was going to be the last day of work with her energy, but literally, as I tried to shut her energy down, she wasn't trying to step away. She has more to say. Um, she showed me again this argument with this woman she had um, for some reason, I keep seeing Kiara behind, like from behind. I, I see her, I've only seen her face in my visions once, and that was with markings on it. Um, but I keep seeing her from behind, from behind. Um, I'm not too sure what she's trying to represent to me, but I think... Obviously, behind, I keep seeing her from behind, that has a huge meaning. Um, but it's almost as if she's trying to show me something mirrored, like maybe a same name, same something, something. Um, but she showed me this argument again with the same, it was the same vision as I had before. So that tells me that I need to pay attention to that vision. Um, the woman in the vision she was in the driver's seat and there was a nut. She was hunched over as if she was having a screaming match with somebody in the passenger side. Kiera was in the driver's seat and she, the other girl was, you know, I didn't see her in the driver's seat. I'm going to say she was half in and half out, which gives me the idea she was hanging into the window. But I always see Kiera from behind in this vision, she had like a grayish, whitish shirt on. She always she always has braids in her visions. Excuse me, with me. Um, I've never seen Kira without braids in my visions. Um, and this struck me as odd because I had been shown this before from her. Um, so I definitely know this also has to do with a woman. So. But the only thing is, is when I was doing hers, trying to uh, release her energy today to do the Alexis Patterson case, another name came through, a Kanika, which I do believe I remember reading that on the piece of paper last night in my, um, my YouTube video that I did. Um, so I'm not sure if there is a Kanika in the, uh, Kiara Cole's case, um, but there was a Kanika that I read out loud yesterday in the video, so that could very well be the Kanika. Um, I think that between... Kiara Coles, her energy is not being released yet. I'm going to have to work with her just a little bit more and let her know that I need something big to get this solved. Um, and then when I tried to do work on the Alexis Patterson case today, it was kind of a blank energy, which I usually don't get. So I'm on the fence yet about anything on that case yet. I think I have to just fully tap right into that and just see what comes through. I did get a few words, um, but then I heard that when I tried to do the uh, case of Alexis, Kiara was full fledged strong. She was not trying to be like, no, I need to, I need to hear be heard um, and the strange part about it is when I was mentioning Kiara Cole's case the other day I was technically I was in my bathroom doing my makeup and I had spoken to somebody about the lighting in my house going haywire when I started her case and and as soon as I mentioned that the lighting in my bathroom the lights went right out. It was like an electric little surge went through the light bulb and it blew right on contact. And 
she definitely doesn't want me to let go of her energy yet. Um, so I am going to work with her a little bit longer. Um, depending on the case, I am going to do the Alexis case and I am going to do the Kanika case. But I need to find out if this Kanika is connected to the Kiera case. Because if it's not connected to Kiera's case, then it's the other girl that I mentioned last night that came through today. Um, so if I don't get too much on the Alexis case, that either tells me she's alive out there somewhere, she was kidnapped, or I just have to really let go of Kiera's energy and move to her, towards Alexa's case. Because when I start a new case, I completely let go of the energy. I do not work with the energy once it's come through after I've closed my case. I will listen to what the energy has to say, but that, that'll be it, really. Um, so I have my hands really full right now. Um... So I am going to do some more work with Kiara to see what else I can get. And if I don't have too much more by the end of the week, I'm just going to uh, stop the energy intake with her and just move on to Alexis and see what comes through for her. Um, and then I will be moving to the Kanika. I do have to figure out if there's a Kanika connected to Kiara's case. Um, that is my next goal. So I'm going to read I'm going to read the uh, tarot card reading that I have for Kiara Coles. Um, and she keeps also referencing fish. Like uh, that's my granddaughter in the back if you guys haven't seen her hand back there. Um, she keeps mentioning a fish, fish stand, fish sandwich, fish sandwich. And I could see her in her work uniform at the fish stand at, at the fish place getting food um i don't know if that's her representation of uh something that's a connection to there or i have to figure that part out yet still so there's a lot of unanswered questions that i need to to really get um i'm going to start reading off each card and if it was reversed or if it was straight up um here, baby. She's my next little medium here. Um, I'm going to read the cards to you and what they represent. Um, so the first card I pulled for Kiara was the King of Swords. A strong man who is very opinionated, authority figure, perceptive, strong-willed, and an intelligent man. Now these cards uh, that I pull, I do a Celtic cross. Um... I do goals, I do the questioning, I do influences, you know, her emotions. So the second card is, in, uh, the second card is, um, this. It, it indicates a time of change in her relationship to seek the truth and, uh, Meaning it is time to leave past behind you change or you're clearing your mind of past thought and feeling a greater level of spiritual will follow. So that card I think has to do with the baby. I think that was a change in the relationship. Card three, uh Ace of Cups reversed, intense emotional turmoil, loneliness, and insecurity within a relationship. The fourth card, the moon reversed, uh, hidden threats and enemies. If you have a secret, it may be revealed. So I think these cards are playing right into the questions that I asked, um, which were regarding Kira, Kira, uh, excuse me, Kira's disappearance. Um, the fifth card was eight of swords reversed, hopelessness and deceit. Try to really, excuse me, try to rally your strength to overcome the adversities that you face. Sixth card, the six of coins. Genera she's a uh, generosity, rewarded financially, good fortune, wealth, and security. Favor will be reciprocated and debts repaid. A gift of inheritance will come 
uh, sin uh, sincerity and trustworthiness. I think that was her beginning to change her life around. Um, them stating that she got a new job, she got a new car, you know, she became pregnant. These are all things that change our life for the better. Um, and I think that was what she kept saying he took from me. So the seventh card was pulled. Excuse me. Three of swords. Broken heart, misery, sorrow, and grief at the end of an affair and friendship. But take heart, time will ease the pain. Riley, what? come up here. Thank you. The eighth card, eight of wands, travel, message, news, speedy journey, ideas. Uh, is a time for action, but take care. Nest or hasty decisions must be made. Regret. Uh, the ninth card is the death card reversed. Now the death card, a lot of people are automatically going to think, you know, it's, it means death. Uh, but no, it means change, renewal, a lot of whole things. Fear of change is inevitable, but you must face it. Resistance is useless. I think that has to do with her pregnancy and, you know, her wanting the baby, but somebody else didn't. Seven of Cups was the 10th card reversed. Optimism, wanting to believe the best, Nine. may confuse an important issue. Nine, what, Take care. Nine, what are you touching me for? Huh? What are you touching me for? Why am I poking you? Poking you? Poke, poke? It's because I need you to be quiet. Let me raise, or let me reread this, please. Optimism, wanting to believe the best, confused, important issues. Take care and consider all possibilities, including the worst. It may never happen, but preparing yourself likely for the worst. Uh, happiness less likely to occur. So that was the 10 cards that I pulled for her. Um, I think, I think that if, I think that if I can get more out of her, I can figure out more to this case because she was on her way to doing good things, and she was halfway there, and then this happens. Um, I think that letting go of her energy, I don't want to do. But if I don't get something by the end of the week, I have to move on to another case. Um, I think I will get something. Um, she did... The one thing I forgot to mention was... It was... It wasn't that long ago. It was a few days ago. Um, her energy was really, really, really restless. And it was really... Um, uh, it was really... It was like she was trying to tell me that she was really upset about something. People are wasting time. Wasting time. Um, and she had said something about lighting candles. And it was like... It was like trying to say she didn't want that. She wanted people to look. She wants people to look for her. And there's not much of that going on, which from what I understand, why I don't know. I mean, people are doing what they can, but I'm not understanding, you know, the whole not looking is a group, I guess, maybe. I don't... I, I don't know how much law enforcement is doing in the case. I don't know. I don't I don't live in Chicago. Uh, but she really wants to be found. And she's been really persistent. And today, she showed me her level of persistence. You know, the other day, it was blowing my lights in my bathroom when I spoke on her case. She, I'm not going to say spirits don't get pissed off. They do. But at the end of the day... 
they want to be found like if it was our own child they want to be found and she was really upset the a uh, few days ago her her energy was really it was like she was trying to tell me to tell people hurry up look for me find me and it's like i think it's more or less saying needing to be found is very important for her uh i just i'm sorry i just heard something she speaks of a baby okay she wants her baby found as well it's like she's saying my baby was the important thing. And she says he. He, the baby is a he. And he, she's saying he needs to be found. Okay. So she's clearly still with me. Um, oh, shit. I just heard the name Kanika again. Um, Kiara, is there a Kanika? Is a name Kanika that you're looking for or telling me to look for? Or is this a Kanika in another case? Okay. Well... This is the girl. This is the girl in the other case. I'm hearing the word drowned, but I think that goes back to. That's My got, I don't know about this, the Jenkins girl, but I'm hearing the word drowned, so I think this has to do with Kiara. So, um, I'll sh cut this video and when I, when I start working with Kiara again, I will record it so you guys can see the interaction because I think this is what she needs. She needs, uh, she needs people to listen. She's saying, people listen, listen to me, listen to me. Okay. Okay, so I am going to cut this video. Um, I'm hearing out of respect, out of respect. I don't know if she's saying out of respect, cut the video, or out of respect, have people listen to her. Um, so the word drowned came through. I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm trying to listen. My granddaughter's making noise, so I have always have quiet when I do these types of readings. Excuse me. I call them readings, but it's just basically someone just is giving me information, which in this case is Kira. She states uh, something about a vig vig vigil, vigil or visual. Sorry, I'm back again. I had a phone call come through. I was recording on my iPhone. Um... So I'm having, I'm, I'm going to have to do another uh, reading with Kiara because I'm having an issue with, I haven't asked her, I don't, I asked her a few minutes ago, but I'm trying to do it when it's just me and my phone and I can able to ask in front of people and, and may hopefully get the answers that I'm looking for. A Kanika keeps popping through and I, I'm not sure if she's telling me there's a Kanika involved or this is the Kanika from the other case, but I could have swore it's the girl from the other case, the other case that was mentioned in the other video I did last night. Um, I don't think this has to do with Kiara Coles, but I think Kanika is coming through because I had, when I, sometimes when I 
state a name. I'll, I, I'll get to where I feel either I'm going to be really connected with them or like the Alexis Patterson case. It's like almost like a blank read. It's strange. Um, so I don't know if I'm almost... I, I don't know. I, I'm going to look more into that case. But I'm getting Kiara coming through and, 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 and a person by the name of Kanika. So I'm going to... I'm going to finish this video right now because my granddaughter, she's all over the vehicle. But, you know... I'm 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 gonna look more into that because I'm not I, I guess Kiara needs to finish what she has to say to me. That's the only thing I can think. And <laughs> you're my granddaughter. Uh I'm gonna I, I feel like this Kanika is gonna give me a whole lot of whole lot of things. Um because it's been twice now that I've heard this name today and I think I'll See, when I close out the energy with Kiara, I'll see <laughs> who comes to me first, Kanika or Alexis. Yay. Now, bye. But I am going to try the Alexis bye, case first because that's what I said I was going to do. Riley. But I think, excuse my taking my attention away from the camera, but she should be the pain in the butt today. Um... So I'm going to work around those three things and I will, as I'm, as I'm doing my auto rights for it, I will, I will, um, I will have it on record just to see, you know, if in case any markings come on my skin or any smells or any tastes or any feels or any visions come through, um, you will be the first to know. So Kira is very devastated about her baby. She really, really, really wants me to be brought to justice. That baby, she said, was everything to her. And I mean, a loving mother who would, whose baby wouldn't be their everything. But Kira really wants justice. She wants, she wants to be found. And it's like she's telling me something about a vigil and wasting time. And she wasn't. She's not happy in the situation. She wants more people to look out of respect. It's a respect thing with her. It's like, how could you not look for me? That's what she keeps like, almost like referencing to me. Like as a, as a whole, why is she having no, no calls coming? No calls coming, she says, no calls coming. It's like she's saying, there's no calls coming in. Or I think that's what she's trying to say. No calls coming in for her. So, um, I'm going to let this go and I will make another video on Kiara because she's not done yet. So, but I need something for, for her to tell me something big so I can, I can get this taken care of on my end because she has more to say clearly. I have to listen to her because she's not ready to be let go yet. And she's pretty persistent. She's a persistent person. She's not effing around. So, I'm going to see what else she has to say. And she's been talking to me a little bit here and there. But with my granddaughter making all this noise, it's it's kind of hard to hear. I hear Kiara Cole's case. Kiara Cole's case. Okay. So, that's my cue to not to, not to stop yet. So... And if there are a few questions somebody would like to ask under this video for me to ask Kiara, I will as long as it's not, you know, racial, sexual, anything like that. Because I don't work like that. So, um, that's, this is going to be the end of my video. Just because I'm, I'm having, it's kind of weird. I'm having two people come through here right now. I have a Kiara here and I have a J Kanika. Kanika Jenkins, to be exact, because I just heard Kanika Jenkins, Kanika Jenkins. So I think that is what is, this, this is what I have to do just so I can get some clarity here. So I will stop this video. I will get back to you guys tomorrow. 
and see what else comes through and also do my reading on camera so you guys may be able to see and what hears what you what I hear it comes through at that time like she's not willing to meet apart with her yet so I guess I'm gonna do a couple more days because I was speaking about it today and it's funny she's coming to me now like as in like please don't give up on me yet I got, I got, I got Kanika coming through now, so it's going to be a tough battle. One is like trying to say, I need to be heard and I need to be heard. So, okay. All right, everybody, I'm going to let this video go. I will get back to you between tomorrow and the next day. So, everybody have a blessed night. Thank you for watching.